Even if I will be showing how to do an SD10 file and send it on an SD. First, you have to have the newer version, which you can generate uh, the chart, which would be a wind up, wind down, and so on. You want to start out from zero. So the highest will be a six hundred and ninety six will be the highest will go from four to eight and we'll do two second. Pretty good. Okay. Now we'll generate a tone. Six nine six. Has to be salty. Get that like electromechanical sound. Zoom this out a little. Okay, let's um, do a chart. Let's go from 696 to 0. To change amplitude to 8, to 4, and then instead of doing linear, do this one right there. Oh, crap. It always gets me. Generate chart. Seventy two second wind down, and you can cut it. You will want to cut it because right here it starts going like this, dum -dum -dum. and this is gonna be like a synth, an ambience, and you don't want it to have that little like thumping sound. So uh, go ahead and cut it off. Okay, this is how it should sound. Wind down. Okay, about the one for um, 35 mark, you want to cut off right there. Highlight it to about there because then it just goes to a real low tone and you really can't hear it. Cut it. Then what you want to do after that is highlight the track. You'll want to duplicate it. Then after that, highlight it and you go to effects change pitch down to negative 5 this should give you sort of like an SD10 sound but it don't have like that deep roar that most of them have so what you'll want to do after that duplicate it again oh, the two of them actually. Okay. What you want to do is highlight this one with effects, change pitch, and you want to take it down to 12 semitones. It's got that good sounding roar.
Okay, for that you want to highlight your hole, wind down and go to effects and do fade out. Then you can highlight your whole wind up and do fade in to where it sounds like it's starting out. Here we go, I'll, I'll do a run through of the raw tone. Okay, and after that, that's just the raw synth. We want to do like an ambience, so I will highlight the whole setup, the whole each track. We'll do low pass filter. Give it you want to do twelve. Is it like that weather sound? like it. Here it is. Okay, maybe not that much, but let's try, we'll try six decibels, six decibels. No matter. Good. Then we can highlight it all. Then we can do an echo. We probably want to do 0 0.14. 0 0.14 for the decay. And 4. It'll take probably about 36 seconds to do the to do the echo. So I'll just sit here and explain. You can add some, like, a white noise to give it the sound of a wind. And then, you could do, like, a DTMF tone before the starting, give it, like, a delay. So the sirens just don't start up in the beginning of the clip, give it, like, a 5 or 10 five or seven seconds delayed where it's like, oh, it's a calm day, then the signs go off. Well, here we go with the echo. Okay, that was unnecessary. We'll high low thing. Just in the season. And now we got the whole siren part out of the way. Now we can do a delay. Okay, generate silence. Still seven seconds. 
give it okay. We'll go to track, add new, audio track. Let's go to generate noise. Okay, that's way too short. A little bit too long, but we can chop it off. Here's what it sounds like, but we we don't want the wind overpower the sound because it will. So let's do it like that. So the way that I'll show you how to review here last time. Once again, add new audio track. Go to generate DTMF tones. Mm. You can type in whatever you want. I'll just go. Oh, what? What? Here we go. Maybe a little faster. Maybe do this. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Okay, now I'm basically done with the synth. I'll just let it run through fully with no interruptions so you can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. That's basically it. Let me chop this, these little pieces and pieces off. Don't really need them. File, save, project is. Um, yes. I've already done this. That's the
that's just about it. That's it for this 